We love celebrating birthdays at Sci-Fi Wire. We also really love the work of Neil Gaiman. So you can imagine how psyched we are for Neil Gaiman's birthday, today, November 10th. So excited we put together this two minute biography all about Nifty Neil's neat existence. Ah, tried to go for the alliteration there and failed. Well, here's Neil Gaiman in two minutes. Neil Richard Gaiman was born on November 10, 1960 in a southern England town called Portsmouth. Gaiman could read by the age of four and really, really loved it. Gaiman voraciously consumed books throughout elementary and high school and has cited The Lord of the Rings, The Chronicles of Narnia, Alice in Wonderland, and Batman comics as some among many favorites. In his early 20s, with a passion for words firmly established, Gaiman decided to try his hand at journalism. He wrote book reviews with the goal of making connections in the literary world in the hopes that one day he'd be the hotshot getting interviewed. Neil also worked with the British Fantasy Society in a short story Feather Quest published in Imagine Magazine. Gaiman kicked around writing for various British magazines until he finally began writing comics. Gaiman's first big gig in comics was when he picked up writing Miracle Man after his friend Alan Moore wrapped up his run. The publisher collapsed, but Gaiman didn't. He wrote three graphic novels with Dave McKean. DC Comics saw Gaiman's work and talent and offered him a shot to reimagine an old character. Enter Sandman. Well, the character is just Sandman. Enter Sandman is a Metallica song. I'm just joking. Okay, anyway, Sandman was both a critical and financial hit, a massive success for DC. Gaiman continued scribing for DC, even contributing to his old childhood favorite, Batman. He also started writing novels minus graphics, books. Along with Terry Pratchett, he wrote the Disney World series and Good Omens. He wrote Stardust and American Gods all on his own. His novel, The Ocean at the End of the Lane, was voted Book of the Year in the National Book Awards, and in February of 2017, he published Norse Mythology, a collecting and retelling of ancient Norse myths. I'm reading it right now, it's really good. Gaiman has also written for TV and film. He wrote a series called Neverwhere for the BBC in the mid-90s, and an episode of Babylon 5, and even an episode of Doctor Who. Many of his works have been made into movies or TV shows, most recently American Gods on Stars. Gaiman now lives in Cambridge, Massachusetts with his second wife, Amanda Palmer. Yes, that Amanda Palmer, Amanda fucking Palmer of the Dresden Dolls. Neil and Amanda have one son, Anthony, but if you consider awards and accolades children, he's got a lot more. The Hugo, Nebula, Bram Stoker Award, just to name a few. And luckily for big Gaiman heads, he publishes new content just about every day. Yep, Neil's a massive Twitter user with over 2 million followers, so you can check out at Neil himself and get your daily Neil fix. Whew. What did we miss? What classic Neil Gaiman works do you love? Let us know in the comments and subscribe for more.